How's it going everybody? My name is Bear and we are here today to take a look at Unique Enchantments Utils. So, Unique Enchantment Utils is a module part of the Unique Enchantments family of mods. The only dependency for it is Unique Enchantments Base. There will be a card in the corner for a spotlight of that if you need it. There are a lot of unique things that have changed in the recent update. Such as there is now a UI for each of your enchantments that will tell you all about them. We will discuss this more in that spotlight. So check that out. We'll go over a little bit of it while we're here looking at these so the other modules are unique enchantments the original mod battle and a few more that should be on their way but these are the enchantments added by utils and there is a pretty decent amount of them here um nothing quite like unique enchantments and a wide variety of tools and things that they can be used on along with three curses so today the ones we're going to be taking a look at is essence of slime this is one of my favorite enchantments from this mod and if you look it is only available for boots it has five different levels, so you can get Essence of Slime 1 through 5. It can be found as treasure, so fishing, or if it's in the loot table for the world, you can get it in uh, villager chests and things like that. It is not a curse. You cannot trade villagers for it, and its rarity is very rare. All of these can be changed in the mod options, which we discussed in the spotlight for base. So we'll not go over that here today. But you can change just about anything about the mod, about the enchantment itself, through those configs. Um, so this is the incompatible with and it is incompatible with nothing and it says you will now bounce when falling fall damage is converted into durability loss so we have essence of slime one stick them on our feet and we're going to take a nice little leap right off the edge here and you can see we just bounce and then hit shift and we stop bouncing and you can see it's used up a pretty good portion of our durability so you don't want to overdo it unless you've got like mending unbreaking things like that to help with your bounce fetish all right, now that we've climbed back up here, the next one we're going to look at is Poseidon's Soul. This one, if we look at the UI, max level of three. Each level determines how many things you get when you use the trident. You can see that it is only available for a trident. You'll understand why in a minute. It is treasure obtainable not a curse not tradable and its rarity is only rare incompatible with nothing so throwing your trident on an aquatic resource will replicate the block in exchange for experience so if we take our trident over here where i have coral you will see that I get a piece of coral. If I throw it at the sea cucumber, I will then get, or sea pickle, 
I will get the sea pickle. So nice way of replicating your aquatic things and hopefully it doesn't replicate a creeper as we're going to throw it at him. I live, I, I have a nice little cave underneath here and every now and then they've got to come out and interrupt the show. So next thing on our list, we are actually going to need some rockets for. So let me grab some of them. And that is a curse. I still don't quite understand how this is a curse, but it is a curse that only goes on the Elytra. Has a max level of three, can be gotten through treasure. It, again, supposedly is a curse. It is tradable and it is very rare. Incompatible with nothing. And it says a rocket can force you into elytra mode. Rocket flight dur duration is increased. So if I put on the elytra and I hold a firework, it's going to shoot me off in the direction that I'm holding it. So if I go this way, it's going to shoot me that way. But if I go up, it's going to send me up. And I have to do absolutely nothing to get into elytra mode. I just fly. Now, come in and land. And that's probably one of the only times I have ever landed with an elytra without crashing into the side of a mountain. Alright, next we're going to look at Climber. Climber is a really nice mod for people that don't like to hold the up button or W. So max level of three. The level of the enchant depends on how long it takes for it to activate. It is obtainable through treasure, not a curse. Can be traded and it is an uncommon rarity. Only goes on leggings so you cannot use this with swift they are incompatible but once you do is anything that is climbable you hold right click you'll see it says restarting the climb And there we go. It has popped me all the way up at the top, and I didn't have to climb it. So shift right click. It does take a little bit of time depending on how high you're going. I'll do it again here so you can see it, hopefully without me falling off the edge of it this time. This works with anything climbable. So, scaffold, vines, and ladders will all work. There we go. And we pop up to the top. Now, let's see if I can pop back down without doing that apparently that would be a no and then the last one now this one I have gone just a little bit overboard with is Sage's Soul which you can see there is max level of 10 we have 9 on the bow I'm currently holding it is a treasure, not a curse, not tradable, and very rare. Improves your item by wisdom. 
right clicking an anvil will transfer experience to the item it does have a pretty good list here of things that it is incompatible with what one of which is not infinity so what we're going to do with this if i didn't lose my arrow is as you know when you go to pull back a bow to shoot you have to draw it back and then you will shoot your arrow well i have put 305 levels of wisdom into this bow that is a butt ton and i have it up to level nine of the enchant so now you can see that just by spamming the right click button i can shoot this thing like back in the alpha days as fast as i can click it does a full draw full shoot and you will see that that is full level of damage with those shots so it's not like i'm doing a weak shot like this where it doesn't go anything or or doesn't go anywhere it doesn't do any damage now that did take a whole lot of levels to get to that but i just thought you guys would like to see something a little bit excessive so i hope you guys enjoyed if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comment although you might want to leave anything that is more technical on the curse page link for all of the curse pages for the entire family of unique enchantments mods will be in the description uh, thanks to Zyke for creating the mod, Spiger for coding it, and all of y'all for watching. Have a great day.